Well, good evening, Shuko and Tin Toy fans. Today, we're not going to be looking at a Shuko car. We're going to be looking at James Bond's car, the car from Gilbert, and made in actually in Japan by OSHA, and made in about 1965 and beyond. Do you recognize these characters? Let me know in the comments below. So the Gilbert car was very popular uh, toy collector car, and here's our hero, Sean Connery, it's James Bond with the Aston Martin DB5. DB means David Brown, the owner of Aston Martin at the time. So here is that James Bond 007 Aston Martin DB5 in silver. I think there was some in gold, but I'm not positive. Later on in our video today, we'll take one apart and we'll look at the insides and how it works. Very well made car, does lots of tricks, and uh, uh, made of metal, but also there are some plastic parts on the car as well. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the rear license plate that actually has three license plates like the car in the James Bond movie uh, Goldfinger. There's three license plates. You pull up on the antenna and push it back down and it changes the license plates. Now we look inside the car and we see James Bond in the, in the background and the bad guy in the foreground. And the bad guy can go flying out of the car at James Bond's wish. So there's uh, James Bond right there, right in front of us. And there is the rear hub that extends to make the tire shredder. Here's the bottom of the car, and there is the original James Bond uh, sticker, I guess you'd call it, uh, attached to the car as it came out of the box. There's the on-off switch. And folks, I have the box, I just can't find it. I have the original box, and I looked all over, I just can't find it in my collection, but it's around somewhere. So you put in two D-cell batteries. So once the battery's installed, you turn the car on, and the machine guns will operate, and the front bumpers will extend. And the bullet shield will extend upward as shown. So now we'll take the James Bond car apart into two pieces. Fairly complex car, actually. Uh, a tough one to work on. So here's the front. We'll, we'll see it in action in just a moment. There's where the, the wires go to the battery, into the motor, into the complex uh, workings of the interior of this car. That's the on-off switch from the back side. Some of the cars had that marking where it says Aston Martin. Uh, some of them didn't. Some of them had this as well. On the back of the car, we've got the on-off switch you see here in the red. So here's a still of the body with the, uh, the roof open. You can see that the uh, uh, where the, the slot is for the bullet deflector and there is the license plate that uh, changes and there's a mechanism that ejects the uh, bad guy passenger and there's an overall picture of the underside of the body so here we go there we ejected the bad guy with that little little lever on the side we open up the top again there's the bad guy And we push him down inside that spring until it clicks into place. Push him down. There it goes. Put the top back on, and there's that little handle. And you press that. Push it forward. Boom, and he comes out. Now we turn it on. Got it up on a stand so we can see all the action. And it'll run on the floor and then it'll stop. And then the machine guns will uh, extend with the front bumpers. And on the inside of the car, there's a little uh, plastic piece that, uh, makes that, that makes that noise like a machine gun. And there it goes. Car's moving and then the, the deflector comes up. 
machine guns fire away. And there we are when it's apart. So let's take a look at what it looks like when we turn it on and we can see how it operates. That, that is spinning around right there and it helps raise the deflector. And then notice the whole mechanism in the front pushes out and the lights come on for the machine guns. And it goes through this cycle of stopping, starting, uh, raising the deflector shield and shooting the machine guns. And there it goes. Firing those machine guns. The front tires can actually be steered if you pull on the tires, turn them to the left or the right. And that uh, arm right there, that metal arm, extends uh, and pushes out the machine guns and the bumpers. Notice how the rear deflector, bullet deflector, moves up and down. The car stops and starts. Fairly complex mechanism to take apart and put back together and get it all right and aligned. I've done a, several of these and they are not for the faint of heart. So one more look at the motor. It's complex gears and how it operates. And now that we've seen the chassis operate, let's take a look at the body. It's all made of tin with some plastic accessories. There's the bottom, of course, with the ejector mechanism for the bad guy. There it goes. And there is the rear license plate that goes into three different license plate numbers. By pulling up and pushing down on that. Watch this. So take a look at the front of the car. You can see where the machine guns come out, those round holes. There's James Bond on the right side. Of course, it's an English car. They drive on the other side of the road. There's some plastic pieces like the uh, rear view mirrors, but the, the top is made of tin. And the spring ejects the bad guy. There you can see it very closely and there's the little lever you push forward and it ejects the bad guy and there you go so there's your james bond car from gilbert from 1965 there are your characters james bond i think miss money penny and some others you need to tell me who those guys are in the comments below Thank you for watching to the end of my video today. A little different, not a Shuko toy. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing. Good evening, everyone.